Phoenix performers. We are 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 the Phoenix performers. We are the Phoenix performers. Phoenix performers. We are the Phoenix performers. We are Phoenix performers. We are the Phoenix Performers.
are Phoenix Performers. We 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 are the Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. We are Phoenix Performers. We are Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. Broadcast starting in less than four Hello, Penelope.
are Phoenix Performers. We 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 are the Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. We are Phoenix Performers. We are Phoenix Performers. We are the Phoenix Performers. A child who lives with criticism learns to calm down. A child who lives with hostility learns to fight. A child who lives with ridicule learns to be shy. A child who feels guilty learns to feel ashamed. A child who lives with tolerance learns to be patient. A child that lives with encouragement learns confidence. A child who lives with praise learns to appreciate. A child who lives with fairness learns justice. A child who lives with security learns to have faith. A child who lives with approval learns to like himself or herself. A child who finds acceptance and friendship learns to find and give love in the world. We are Phoenix Performers. Welcome to episode number two of Phoenix Performers. The show must go on. Now, I just want to quickly share this with you just before I carry on. Okay, so this is my screen on my phone live, hopefully. Can you see? So, 95 people are watching on YouTube. And that's just absolutely blown my mind. And I'm feeling more stressed than ever. But we're going to be fine. We're going to win. Uh, we're going to do really well. So after the success of last week's show, Glenda has let us back on air. We've ironed out some of the technical issues. And with a little bit of luck, tonight's show will run nice and smoothly. Uh, moving swiftly on before I jinx us. Let's see what we've got coming up in tonight's episode. Look at that, we've even got fancy coming up screens. So coming up, we've got some videos from our members and leaders. Um, a show that Tom forgot. Everybody's favourite bit, that. We've got Quiz Night. Oh, we're bringing Quiz Night. Uh, we've got Secret Missions. Right. You do not understand how excited me and Andy are for this. The Secret Missions, you are going to love. We've been trying so hard to keep it so secret all week. You're going to love it. Anyway, back to this. We're gonna also going to be talking to some leaders live. There we go. So, that's what we've got coming up this week. 
So, uh, this week we've been really inspired by ITV's Britain Get Talking campaign. Personally, I've been following the campaign closely since its launch. Um, it's talking about mental health openly and about how you truly feel is something very close and personal to me. The campaign, launched by Anton Deck during Britain's Got Talent, the champions, encourages people to get talking about mental health. During these unprecedented and scary times, it's more important than ever for us to all keep on talking. With that, and with a little bit of help from our leaders and our amazing members, we've created a video all about how we think it's so important that we do all keep talking. It's simple. Keep talking. During these times of uncertainty and fear, it's more important than ever that we all keep talking. More of us are going to be spending a lot more time than we normally do at home, alone. Some people will find it a lot harder than others. Over 9 million people in the UK say they feel lonely. This is why it's so important that we all stay strong and most importantly, keep talking. Just hearing someone's voice has proven to decrease anxiety and distress. Pick up the phone, send a text, have a chat. So it's simple. <laughs> it's so simple. It's 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 simple. Keep talking. 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 So um, we're going to be sharing this on our show, social media platforms after tonight's show and we encourage you all to share it with your friends, family and loved ones. And please do keep talking, it helps. Right, moving on, let's try and lift our spirits a bit now. Got the hiccups, I do apologise. So, right, after several comments during last week's show about my resemblance to Stephen Mulhern, which... I am taken as a compliment. Compliment. Um, we thought we'd up the ante and make things a little bit more Mulhern. So I may not have a sparkly gold jacket. We're working on it, um, or a podium on wheels. But we have got some new exciting games, which we're going to be playing a little bit later on. My script says that I've got a sound effects board. I don't. I ran out of time to get it already. So we'll have that for next week. Um, like I said, we've also introduced some new games for this week and the coming weeks. Um, next week, we're going to be playing the 30 second challenge. Yes, it is as exciting as it sounds. Um, so more on that next week. So now, once we've been, uh, once again, we've, I've been pestering our older members for photos and videos of what they've been up to. Apparently, the answer to this is nothing. Um, however, our younger members have delivered um, and we'll be bringing you some later on. We've been promised some singing videos for next week though, so hold tight for that. Someone that has been extremely busy this week is our company manager, Glenda Halewood. Anybody that knows Glenda will know that te technology isn't her strong point. Although, she did join the tech team a few shows ago. Um, she did, however, spend most of the time eating our donuts. Uh, which is fine. We're, we're, we're not selfish people. We'll share our donuts with Glenda. Right. <laughs> however, this week, Glenda has joined TikTok. Right, for those of you who don't know what TikTok is, um, where have you been? No, I'm joking. TikTok's a video sharing platform where users, known as TikTokers, um, create, I think they, I think that's what they're called, anyway. Or I might have completely made that up. They should be called TikTokers. <laughs> anyway, um, creating their own videos um, and sharing them with others. Now, I am on TikTok. I made a few very, very basic TikToks and not very good. But I can see that the possibility of creation is endless. One friend of mine, 
um, during lockdown is currently recreating the whole of the first Mamma Mia film. Okay, and it's absolutely amazing. So she's playing every single character herself. It's it's a beautiful one woman show. Uh, so far, she's created just under twenty minutes of the film, which is absolutely incredible. But that just shows that you know the the boundaries of creativity with TikTok are endless. Anyway, back to Glenda. I was sent this video of Glenda and Christina trying to recreate a dance on TikTok. So here you go. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Can you create a better one, though? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, can you? Uh, there's a challenge being set there for you. Um, send yours in. You can send your videos to us via any of our social media platforms um, or by emailing tv at phoenixperformance.com or by uploading them to our website, www.phoenixperformance.com forward slash tv. And before I get shouted at, I've got to mention this. We've got a fancy graphic this week. Are we ready? Look at that. It's on fire. Just like me. Anyway, uh, hashtag Phoenix Live. Get involved. Um, you can comment on the Facebook uh, live stream. And I'm told the YouTube live stream chatty watty thingy majiggy thing is also working this week. Right, we're now going to go live to our first leader. Did you hear that? Every leader heart just sank. All the... Because I don't know who it's going to be. It's time to bring on the wheel of fate that has disappeared. The wheel of fate isn't here. So, what are we... <laughs> It's all gone a little bit peat tong. Let's try this. Will this do it? No, that's that video again. That's quiz cam. Have I skipped? Hmm. Anyway. Um, we're going to go live now to one of our leaders. Um, let me get it ready. Um, so... Drum roll, please. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> I've just been told our YouTube views are dropping like anything. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to work? Yes! There we go. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. All the better for seeing you. And oh, your lovely you. smile. Um, what have you been up to? Um, well, this week we've been busy making lots of tents and trying to get Glenda in on TikTok. Yeah, well, we've just watched Glenda's amazing TikTok. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, did Glenda take much convincing to get involved in it? My microphone's just died. I'm really sorry. I was just going over the handheld. Um, so, did, yeah, she was really up for it. And you're joined by Charlie. Is Mummy famous? <laughs> Are you on the telly? Oh, no, you will be in a minute. Once the stream's caught up. Um, how many takes were there then of the TikTok? Or did you get it right first time? Well, as we all know as performers, the rehearsal process is the most important. So, uh, there we go. Um and have you got any advice for people during this lockdown?
I feel like there's a song there that we should all sing. <laughs> That's the cue for the musical number, which we can't play because of copyright, because we got shouted at last week. Um, and finally, I'll let you go then. Um, the all-important question, how much toilet paper have we got left? Right. Yeah. Well, that that's our next point that we're coming on on to. So, um, I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to watching, um, and I'll see you soon. B bye, bye, Charlie. Munching on your blanket. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Brilliant. That went a lot better than expected. This mic is also now dying. So, we're going to move really quickly on. We've got some comments coming in. Rory Scarlett says, get Andy in here. Rory, I've tried to get Andy here. And we're having issues. Blythe Roberts says, Jacob, you're doing brilliant with the show show. Thumbs up. Thank you very much, Blythe. Right, we're going to move on. Uh, oh, we've got more comments. Freya Fisher-Jones. Keep going, Jacob. You're doing amazing. Thank you, Freya. Um, so, we've recently been asked by some of our parents whether you... I'm going to I'm gonna change my running order because um, I need to play a video. So, uh, we've taken up the toilet paper challenge, as Christina mentioned then. Uh, so, this is the leader's attempt so far. We need you guys to get involved. we go so that is our toilet paper challenge so far i think it's absolutely brilliant so um here we go so there you go we need you guys to get involved in sending your videos of the toilet paper challenge so what you need to do you need to get a toilet paper you need somebody to film okay that person is going to throw the toilet paper in you're going to catch it then you're going to do something funny in the middle, maybe a pirouette, or a star jump, or a handstand, or a bit of break dancing, absolutely anything. Then you're going to throw it off camera, and then someone else will catch it, and so on, and so on, and so on. We want to see how far we can get it. Um, so, um, we think we can do pretty well. Uh, we've gone full on laggy, and audio quality keeps dropping. Hopefully, we'll... We're fixed and sorted from that. So, we're now going to bring back the quiz night. So, we've recently been asked by some of our parents whether we could hold one of our quizzes with a difference again once we're out of lockdown. The answer is, of course, yes. We love hosting these, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Whilst we can't currently host a physical quiz, we thought we'd introduce a virtual quiz uh, to each week's episode. There'll be three rounds each week at the moment. The general knowledge, music, film, okay? And we'll be following the standard British rules for quizzing. So no cheats. Uh, this week's, as I've just said, our three rounds are general knowledge, music and film. We'll kick off with general knowledge. It's not completely wrong on my script. So that's going well. Please don't comment the answers on the video as it'll ruin the fun for everybody else. Get a piece of paper and a piece of pen. No, a pen and a piece of paper um, ready. I'll carry on talking whilst you go and get that. Uh, yeah, please don't comment the answers. Uh, there's absolutely no point in cheating either. Nobody likes to cheat. Um, I cheat at absolutely everything, so it's fine. <laughs> um, but there's no point in cheating because there's absolutely no prize. Um, and everyone will just think you're just really sad. 
for cheating, for ke cheating in a fun little quiz. So get your pens and papers ready. I'll give you a moment to get your pens and papers ready. Um, so, here we go. Right, so... Are we all ready for... Question number one. Round one is general knowledge. Yeah, just move my face. Round one, general knowledge. Here we go. So, what sort of creature is a dingo? What sort of creature is a dingo? Right, we'll move on to the next one. In which country is the Taj Mahal? So in which country? Taj Mahal. Which country? Question number three. Who, who was the first man to walk on the moon? Who was the first man to walk on the moon? That's question number three. Question number four. What are the names of Harry Potter's parents? What are the names of Harry Potter's parents? Bit of a tongue twister. It's not at all. I just can't talk. Question number five. What are the four oceans called? So apparently there's four oceans, and what are they called? The four oceans. Four bodies of water. Number six. Um, which language is spoken in Australia? In the land down under. That was my, my attempt. Um, and it was shocking, and we'll never do it again. Question seven. What's the name of the tree that produces acorns? So the tree that produces acorns, what's its name? It's got a name. Question number eight. What's a baby kangaroo called? Baby kangaroo. What are they called? It seems to be a bit of an Australian theme going on this week. Not intentional. How many sides does a hexagon have? So the shape called hexagon. How many sides does it have? Finally, question number 10. How many strings does a violin have? How many strings does a violin have? Right. So, answers, answer time, okay. Question number one was a dingo. It's a wild dog. What kind of animal is a dingo? It's a wild dog. Question number two, uh, which country was the Taj Mahal in? It's India. Taj Mahal is in India. Give yourself uh, a point if you get them right. Question number three. Um, first man on the moon uh, was Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Number four. Uh, what were the names of Harry Potter's parents? It was James and Lily. James and Lily could also have Lily and James would also be an acceptable answer. The f names of the four oceans are the Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and of course, everybody's favourite, the Pacific Ocean. So that was Arctic, Atlantic, India, Indian, and Pacific. <laughs> um, 
Question number six. What language do they speak in Australia? It's Australian. No, joking, joking, chill. It's English. They speak English. Um, what tree produces an acorn? It's an oak tree, not an acorn tree, an oak tree. Um, you see, see the little connection we made there? No? We meet on a Saturday morning at Christchurch Sports Hall that's connected to the Oak Tree Centre. No? Absolutely nothing. I'm wasted. Absolutely wasted. Um, the name of a baby kangaroo is Joey. There you go. It's a, a, a Joey. A Joey. 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 Number nine. Um, number nine, the answer is six. How many sides does a hexagon have? How many sides does a hexagon have? It's six. Don't know whether you noticed then, but I forgot what the question was, and I've only written the answers <laughs> down on my script. Um, and finally, how many strings does a violin have? It's four. Four strings. Right, next. Oh. I, I, um, I'm sorry about that beep. Not quite sure what it is. There you go. Sorted that one. Because I'm a genius. <laughs> um, moving on. Moving on. I've complete. I'm going terrible. I bet we've lost so many watches. I do apologise. Let's carry on. So how did you do? Comment below your score to round number one. Um, we'll bring you round number two and three in a little bit. I can confirm we are still live on YouTube. Woo! Let's all have a round of applause for that. That's all going to change soon. So this week, the leaders thought it would be fun if we all took part. I've done this. Um, <laughs> it's because I changed the order. Um, oh, we're not going to win a BAFTA, are we? Now it's time for everybody's favourite part of the show. Drum roll. Yes, you know it. It's everybody's favourite. It's everybody's favourite. A show that time. Forgot. Absolutely no expenses spared on that. We're going to watch it again because it's brilliant. A show that time forgot. Yeah. There it is. Everybody's favourite, a show that time forgot. Yes, you love it, you lovely people. It's the best segment of the show. So this week, we're having a small throwback, only a small one this week, to last year's summer show, um, Treasure Island. Treasure Island saw many firsts. Uh, first matinee, Andy's first time directing, first time we saw merchandise, and perhaps, I don't know if I should say, I wrote this very late last night, and perhaps... It may be the first time we actually get to see a show DVD. Um, more on that after this clip for you all.
Yes, there we go. So, um, as I explained last week, me and Andy have got a shared script uh, so that he can update me on people's comments. And he's went and added into my little line there. Perhaps we may be the first time we actually get to see a show DVD. Ouch, he's added in there. Um, it's all a bit of fun. Um, yes, as I mentioned before, um, show DVD. I have been promised by Andy that by the time uh, Felix returns after the lockdown, the Treasure Island DVDs will be ready to purchase. <laughs> Hope you're all applauding at home. Um, it's it's down on video now, Andy. So it's happening. Um, so it's now back to our members. Uh, we've had this lovely video sent in by one of our chicks, Sydney. Um, he's only four, bless him. Um, he's been busy choreographing um, their next dance. Well done, Sydney! Isn't that brilliant? Four years old, a uh, future star of stage and screen, just like myself. So, we're on to round number two of our quiz. Um, so, um, music round. G2 is being shouted at last week um, for playing some copyrighted music. A very small snippet of copyrighted music. We can't do the original finish the lyric music round that I was hoping for. Uh, instead, I'm going to give you the first lyric from some well-known songs. Um, and you need to write down the name of the song and artist. Okay, there's two points available here for each question. First for the song, sac song title. Second um, for the artist as well. Um, let's get the quiz up. Quiz up. There we go. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Right, we we've gone. Peep tongue again. It's fine. Um, you don't need to see the lyrics. Um, <sighs> broken it. There we go. We'll go back to me. You don't need to see the lyrics, so don't stress about that. Um, so I'll read you out the lyrics, um, and then you need to give me the name of the artist and the song title um, in order to get a point there. Okay. So question number one. Um, I'm done hating myself. Um, I'm done crying myself awake. So I'm done hating myself for feeling. I'm done crying myself awake. I'm done hating myself for feeling. I'm done crying myself awake. Um, I must add that these are all well-known music songs. Okay, you will know them. Don't stress. Um, if you don't know them, I'd be very concerned. Um, question number two. Homegrown alligator. See you later. Gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road. So homegrown alligator. See you later. Gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road. It's so hard not to sing some of these songs. So hard. Question number three, we're talking away. I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. We're talking away, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. I messed that up, I'll read it again for you. We're talking away, I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. Question number four. four. Last night I had the strangest dream. 
I sailed away to China in a little rowboat to find you. And you said you had to get your laundry cleaned. You only get that one one. Because it's a long one. Number five. So true, funny how it seems. Always in time, but never in line for dreams. So true, funny how it seems. Always in time, but never in line for dreams. Number six, when I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. Next to you. Um, You only get that one once. It's a nice, easy one. You go, blue jean baby, L.A. lady, dream seamstress for the band. Blue Jean Baby, L.A. Lady, seamstress for the band. That was number seven. Number eight, you can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Nice easy one there for you. You can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Number nine, we go together better than birds of a feather, you and me. So that's, we go together better than birds of a feather, you and me. Finally, question number ten, tale as old as time, true as it can be. Tale as old as time, true as it can be can be and we go we'll whiz through the answers then number one was how do you sleep by sam smith um number two shotgun by george ezra number three take on me by aha um four was break my stride by matthew wilder number five was true by Spandau Ballet. Six was 500 Miles by The Proclaimers. Number seven was Tiny Jancer, Dancer by Elton John. Number eight, Dancing Queen Abba. Nine was Sucker, Jonas Brothers. And number 10, Beauty and the Beast. It was the Celine Dion and Peebo Bryson version. Um, all other versions, no points. Let us know how you did it in the comments. Um, so we've got some comments uh, from YouTube. We've got Oshan saying, go on, Jacob. Um, Aidan Fisher-Jones, go, Jacob. And Rory, for some reason, it goes, way, Oshan. I don't know why Oshan is being weighed on. Anyway, um... It's now time for something very, very exciting. Andy and I have been super busy all week setting some secret missions for one of our parents to complete. Honestly, you don't understand how excited uh, we've been trying to organise this. It's been brilliant. Um, it's been very difficult to keep it a secret. Uh, we're going to be speaking live to them after this. Um, so, here to introduce it, um, we've got a special guest and dancer. How exciting. How exciting. So, let's see if this will work. It probably won't. Um, there we go. There. There's our special guest and dancer. You, you can't hear her. Brilliant. It's going so well tonight, isn't it, everyone? So well. Tell you what. I've got it here. Hi, it's Linda, Aidan's mum. Hope you're keeping safe and staying indoors and having fun. Um, this week's been really busy. We've been given a secret mission to do some pranks on Aidan. So, hope you enjoy. 
so excited. Here we go. Hi, it's Linda, Aidan's mum. Hope you're keeping safe and staying in.